I've just upgraded the letter editor with brand new features like image uploads. Got the hat on. And you can even upload from a library, browse a library and choose any. A better way to edit links. So you can do that in line, change the URL and access the font family, font size, all in line. That is also based on email tables. This editor allows you to insert rows and stuff and columns and change the background colors. So it's made it a lot easier to edit. So previously, in the last newsletter that I made, I found it really tricky to just use the inline editor. So everything else was great, but actually changing text, like I can't see the cursor and changing links is very difficult. So even changing images. So by switching the editor to this one, these people have spent, I don't know, it must be a lot of time building this and it works in React. So I've managed to plug it in and make modifications that I need. And I'll just show you that. This is my React editor. And I just include Freola editor here, the React version, and then this second one straight from the editor so I can add commands and buttons myself. You can define your own image features here and add your own toolbar buttons. So you can customize it quite a long way. And on top of that, you can define your own buttons. So for example, I added this back button. So when you click on the text, before it was just showing these and you have to press escape to get the normal toolbar back. So I added this back button and that's defined here. And to do that, you can define an icon and register a command. And I use these two commands to first hide the first pop-up and then show the inline editor. So the next thing I need to add is, I need to think about how these table cells, these borders work because the old one looked a lot cleaner without the borders. And I added this hover effect, this inspector, which shows you which, um, what type of element that you hovered over like table cell, table cell link, image. And in the bottom corner, it tells you what type of component it is. So I'm going to add that inspector back on and maybe take out the table cells borders because it doesn't look so nice, but they are really useful when editing. Maybe I can have a toggle that switches them on and off. Yeah, that's where it is now.